Hey guys, welcome to the iHearthU King of the Hill. I am Doa, that's Artosis. As usual, we're back to bring you another best of seven, and it's gonna be a really, really good one this week. We have Twisted versus This. I think it's pronounced This. Maybe it's like This, This, and L. Well, Vigilanzel? I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to call I think it's, that. I think it's this, though, yeah. Yeah, you know that J we'll up that. in those Nordic languages becomes a Y, so I'm just going to call him this. Well, this in... This a, NL. <laughs> in case you aren't familiar with this player, I, I don't, that didn't really wow. work. I'm done. I'm done. I'm retiring. All right, anyway. He plays for MYM. Mm -hmm. He was very highly ranked on the EU ladder yeah, last like season. Number I think. six, I believe. I think it was eight. If I remember, okay, okay. I don't know. very high. Research. Single digits, really yeah. strong. Very um, good player, and twisted really good as well too. Yeah. He's actually a five-time Zotac champion as well. Yes. This is, and, right. uh, yeah, of course, twisted. This he's is. been coming up uh, really strongly, uh -huh. and it did, did just defeat Force in last week. So. Uh -huh. Obviously a very good player. I thought he played uh, the Miracle deck like exceedingly well. So. Yeah, uh, we've got a really interesting match, and we've got like an extremely interesting first game. All right, yeah. first of all, they're both playing Shaman, which is a little bit odd if you're familiar with the current meta. That meta game goes so fast, it man. Does. Shaman was just nowhere Suddenly for the back. past like month and a half and yeah. bam here we go both players opening with it well you and I have been playing like a lot of ladder lately and stuff like that and just within the last you know like week or so Shaman started to really crop up again mm -hmm. um, I was watching some streams and both Trump and Renaud were playing it today I mean and now we've got two very different Shaman decks too I mean they're similar in the fact that they're both OTK they're both very bursty but they kind of do it in different ways yeah like if we look at uh, this is deck it's kind of like a little bit more controlling. You know, yeah. it's got the flame tongues in there. It's it's kind of got some one ofs and two ofs. It's got like the yeah. unbounds of chill winds. These are uh, Defender of Argus. These are cards that are going to let you control the game a little bit more and maybe it's be like, safer against various decks. It's like he wants to be aggressive and burst you down, but he's just a little bit afraid to commit. Mm. So you have to include the control it's, stuff. But It kind of reminds me of like the, mm. the Shaman decks that were really popular a few months ago where yeah. it's like... It's just a very good Shaman deck that happens to kill you with a big burst of it's, damage. It's not as much of a wild departure as a Twisted's deck is. Now, Twisted is like all about setting up yeah. that OTK, or close to it anyway. The idea is to do a little bit of damage early on, but then you've got the Stranglethorn Tiger in there. You've got the Abusives, the Rock Biters, Wind Fury. I love this deck. I really hope it really works. Cool. It's really cool. so cool. I, yeah. Well, look at it, right? Like, I love that he's included in an Abusive Sarge. I'm surprised yeah. we haven't seen this yet, but double Wind Fury in there, right? He's got the Loot Hoarders for the additional draw, the Azures to help out with that, mm -hmm. two Lava Bursts, a couple Mana Tides for draws, like, this deck is really cool. It's super streamlined, as you yeah. can see. A lot of two ofs in there. Uh, I'm, I'm like, really stoked to see how, well, I mean, the other deck is kind of something we've seen before. This yep. this feels a lot more fresh, a lot more new. I like it. It's new. It's it's very very cool, and we'll see who takes it. I think uh, I don't know. I'm ready to get in the game. How about you, man? Uh, let's let's do All right. it. All right. Best of seven. Game number one. Twisted versus this. Let's get in the game. All right, guys. Here we are in game number one. Twisted versus this. Looks like the video, oh, a faulty video, so we won't be able to see Twist's hand this game. Well, this is going to be interesting, isn't it? All right, I, well. Yeah, gives us like something, about. something definitely went wrong there. But well, anyways. We can, can kind of see the very top of it, but I guess it's not working out very well. Well, we see he's got an abusive sergeant anyway, so so he's got that going for him. Yeah, he's he's got some various cards in there, three man, yeah. he's got the coin, whatever. All right, uh, whatever. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. Yep. Totem uh, start for this. Oh, and a better totem start for Twisted. Indeed. Well, you know, that's at least going to go one for one here. Uh, yeah, get Most that likely drone. better, since he's playing against Shaman. There's not, like, a lot of options here for him. Somewhere Nat Pagel is, like, weeping bitterly. Mm. He's like, nobody uses me anymore. All well, right, so, you know, what, what do you do here? I mean, you can obviously get rid of it. With, <laughs> it does. It's not going to be a clean turn either way. You know, do you just play the Unbound and give him another draw? Do you, what, you know, use an Earthshock where that really isn't optimal? Yeah, I mean, well, either way, Earthshock, you're, you're losing tongue. card advantage. Like, it's the same it's the same yeah. disadvantage here, whether you go Earthshock uh, or you play the Unbound and then do it next okay. turn. Just another Totem. I, I think yeah. that's good, too, because it's not like the Mana Tide is going to do anything now, and then you've got potentially uh, two attackers with the Flame Tongue next turn. Indeed. it's. Yeah. I guess that's that's the best way to go about things here. Yeah. But, but um, He's also got the options, too, to go Unbound and Feral Spirits, and it looks like it's going to probably not be the Flame Tongue. We'll see. Well, here, uh, this has to be feeling a little bit sad. That was probably the one card you really didn't want to see here. Yeah. Hmm. Mm. Uh, this is such an awkward hand for this, actually. And Shaman versus Shaman, I mean, mirrors are always a little bit awkward, but this is, like, really awkward. Um, 
Huh. I'm trying to figure out here now. The thing is, like, he could kill the one of the wolves with two flame tongues, but then there's yeah. no way to kill the other wolf. <laughs> well, the thing is, I mean, yeah, you could buff up, I feel like, the healing totem enough to kill one of those, mm. and then leave the taunt totem to kind of protect your flame tongues a little bit. Mm. You don't want to play Feral Spirits because you want to have the Unbound out to benefit from that, but if you play the Unbound, there's such a good chance that it's going to die next turn from something. As weird as it is, I, I kind of like the... I pretty good. I, I, you know, Unbound could be good. It all depends on what's in Twisted's hand, and... I feel like there's a lot of ways to deal with it. I mean, this is the safest play right here that he's doing, but again, you know, you want the Unbound to benefit from it, but just going for the safe play, I think this yeah. is fine. His hand isn't very good, so why not just kind of wait it out, you know? Yeah, it's it's uh, that was a hard turn to actually yeah. play correctly. Like, really, if it was anything but the Wolves, he would have had a much easier time uh, yeah. deciding what to do. I mean, he knows his opponent only has two mana this turn, so he doesn't need to worry about Lightning Storm or anything like that, so that's eh, okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So, at two mana, uh, you know... What does he do here? Does he, like, trade into one of the wolves? Uh, well, it's not really a trade because he leaves both his guys alive, but yeah. that makes something like a lightning storm quite powerful. Yeah. And uh, his opponent will have three mana next turn, so definitely a possibility there. We'll see what it is. Um, Thing is, if he doesn't do that, then he's going to lose, like, all his stuff. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Huh. Only two mana, too. I mean, do you just play a totem here and kind of hope for the best? It's... Awkward. Probably, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, well, I guess he does. I see an abusive Sergeant's uh, eyes poking out there at the bottom, so yeah, that's he could go was... abusive, but we could trade one wolf token. I mean, that's what I was thinking because we can just barely see the tip of that abusive Sergeant's hel helmeted head. And all right, well, might as well get rid of that. That's kind yeah. of a given. And I feel like it's okay to trade and get the abusive out, but we just don't know everything he's got in his hand. Okay, there's the abusive. All right. Looks like he has a couple yeah. of jurors in there, so... Um, oh, oh, he's okay. got a lightning bolt. Okay. There you go. That makes ah. it a lot easier. <laughs> All right. And, of course, kill off this other totem. So, yeah. uh, pretty good board control here for Twisted at the moment. Yep. And uh, there's a one lightning bolt for this. No lightning storm and not a lot of mana uh, to work with either way. It's uh, another... It's just like messy turn after messy turn yeah, for these guys. I like, mean, this is shaman versus shaman, everybody. This is a tough place for this. Like, yeah. looking at this... I'm looking at this. I don't even know what the, the best play is here, because the thing is, if you play a Flame Tongue, yeah, you can get rid of both wolves, but then mm -hmm. it's just a Flame Tongue sitting out there. Yeah. And that's, like, not any good either. And is it really worth your Lightning Bolt to get rid of, you know, one wolf token, too? Oh, Especially man. If because you had, like, four mana, it would be, like, a much better play, because oh, you yeah. could have that 3-5 then Earthbound. Uh... Unbound, yeah. Unbound. You're, thinking, you're thinking of the Super Nintendo RPG for yeah. the yeah. Which was great, by the way. Uh, Earthbound was amazing. I mean, he goes for the biggest clear he can. Yeah. Again, and it's it's got to hurt to have that Unbound in his hand, but, you know, it's the best he can do. Yeah, and the thing is, he has two Flame Tongues, so I guess it's fine yeah. to just throw that out there. Yeah, totally. And there's not enough damage to kill it immediately on the board. He knows there's probably something in Twisted's hand, but, you know, it's going to require some sort of card response from mm. Twisted anyway. At least, I guess. Well, let's see what Twisted wants to go for here. Like, obviously you want to kill this off, but he doesn't have an easy way of doing it at the moment. Yeah. Looks like he has a Wind Fury in hand. Obviously you don't want to play Wind Fury on your 2-1. Yes, Wind Fury, the abusive sergeant. Sick He's going right? to double the abusive. Uh, the thing is, he only has uh, four mana, so yeah. uh, he can't play these Azures, so that kind of sucks. You know, yeah. this is sometimes the way of things with Shaman, where you get overloaded and your turns just don't line up. Like, if he could play an Azure right now, what a fantastic turn on a board like this. It's true. I mean, Shaman playing Shaman is like saying, I want to destroy my mana curve every game, but usually it's worth it. Okay, so he had Feral Spirits. All right, yeah, might as well. Yeah, totally fine there. Yep. Ah, hello, Fire Elemental. Not enough to play it, though, again, no. because of that overload. Throws off that turn six. Yeah, well, you're probably just going to just right here start yeah. drawing through. And the thing is, the the uh, Fire Elemental is really going to help you clean up some of these future turns anyways, because yeah. he's just such a powerful card. Ooh, he got Wind Fury, too, actually. So if he can get something like a Lightning Storm next turn and clear the board, he can mm. do a ton of damage with that Azure Drake. Yeah, we'll have to see if it gets dealt with, though. Because it's certainly might, a possibility yeah. here. Uh, that it ends up dying. You always just gotta cross your fingers and hope it lives. Mm. I see a Manatide Totem and a Wind Fury yeah. and an Azure Drake. I can like see sort of the tips <laughs> of the cards. Something happened with the video uh, there, guys. Sorry. A Lava Burst. Yeah, uh, okay. it happens yeah. sometimes. Um, Alright, so I mean, he's, he's clearing everything out, taking yeah. quite a bit of Overlord once again, but the thing is, he has board control, he's, he's putting some damage on, he's drawing the pieces of his combo, so that's yeah. all good. Okay. Now, 
I think this is a pretty obvious fire elemental, right? Yeah, I mean, you get a 6-5 out there, you take out one of the tokens. Yeah. Worth, totally. So it looks like he's going to probably go ahead and drop that down. Yep. And, uh, you know, that, that'll that be his full turn, but still, that's a, it's a powerful turn. It's a good card to have out there. Yeah, I mean, it, it certainly is tough to deal with. Once again, there's not enough damage, like, right on the board to kill it, so it's going to require a card response, and it's always important to make your opponent play cards every turn. Well, let's see. Uh, of course, with Twisted, once again, it's hard to see his full hand. I know. I see <laughs> the top. Annoying. I see a manatide totem. It's mm. kind of like it has this little, like, blue spiky hair. Ah, and uh, looks like he's just going to play that Azure and attack through. Oh. And, of course, with that taunt out, that's going to be fine. Oh, okay. Azure into uh, into Defender, you think? Just going for a big board, or... Uh... Uh, well, well, you we'll can't see. do Azure we'll in Defender because he only has eight. Oh, you're right, you're right. Once again, Art Major. But, uh... <laughs> Well, it's, I, I guess a Jor, see what you draw, because, for instance, if you got, like, a Lightning Storm, that might be something he wants to give a try here. Yeah, for it sure. could possibly wipe out. Ooh, there it yeah, is. Yeah, if, if he rolls high on the Azure, if he plays that and rolls high, that's, like, an insanely good turn. Yeah, I think I think you gotta do it. You have to. And he's going it's to. a little bit of a risk, because he leaves that one out. Oh, ah. it's still there. Well, he's gonna attack through for six anyway. I think you should attack through here. I mean... I think so. Like, no. he's got Leroy, and he's got Wind Fury, and he's yeah. got his Flame Tongue, so that's like... Exactly. You that's wanna... 16 damage right there. I think you attack yeah. through. I think so, too. He might but... trade. Uh, I mean, having leaving Spell Power for Shaman is always dangerous, but I like that. I, you need to get some damage done at some point. And now it's it's more health to deal with. So. It's a fine play. And it's not like you need to worry about you know lightning bolt or anything like that because that's still only four damage. So it's it, only, even with the azure out. So the I think only thing it's you can play. say is you would have gained like a lot more card advantage by attacking that azure because you yeah. still they're gonna have to use spells to kill off both your guys. Yeah. Uh, well, I like here. the aggressive play as usual. Yes, of course. <laughs> uh, but this does set up a possible lethal form next turn. That's for sure. Yeah. You know. And, you know, with... Because he's got Overlord 2, right? So he actually is going to have and uh, 7 mana once... Oh, actually, he's going to be 1 mana off of lethal, I believe. You know, uh, the thing is, too... Oh, well, I oh, mean, geez. Jesus, that's wow. good. All right, well, maybe it would have been better to clear that energy <laughs> after all. I stand corrected. 1 lives, and he's going to clear that. Okay, well, that's awkward. That would have been so good if that rolled high. Oh, my I know, God. Right? Yeah, well, something... It's hard to count on them yeah. getting a second Azure like that. And the thing is, too, is... is uh, I believe Twisted's used both of his Feral Spirits already, so you know yeah. there's a not a very likely chance that there will be a blocker coming out unless he gets a lucky mm. totem, so it was a good calculated risk taken by this, I think. Okay, so I'm uh, going to go ahead, play this, play a totem, yeah. and just Defender it. I was thinking mm -hmm. about an Unbound Defend, uh, yeah. Defender of Argus, just because, uh, you know, that's making him into a 3-5 taunt, that's like kind of hard and wonky to get through. Well, yeah, he's been saving those unbounds for so long. I feel yeah. like at some point you just have to play him. And, I think that yeah. it's just the unbound out there is a little bit more mana efficient, it's a harder card to remove, yeah. and I mean, no I matter what I totem mean, you get here, you don't really care. Where it's, a totem doesn't do much in this situation. That's the thing, is where you've got two unbounds in your hand, too, you know, why not? Why not play that? But, yeah. but uh, oh, well, he's gonna go into Earth Shock, and that would've gotten rid of the Defender no matter what, anyways. True, yeah. Alright. Ah, there's that Mana Tide Totem again, and yes, God, people, he's really I know setting up. Look at how many cards he's drawn. Here. This is crazy, and now with uh, even Loot Hoarder out, like, that's, uh, that's quite a few cards. <laughs> yeah. There's his own Mana Tide Totem. Let's see here. 24 health. He's just, he's got to fill the board up a little bit. He's got to yeah. get a little bit more damage going in this game. Yeah, at this point, it's, it's all about getting the most damage in you can. While setting up that Leroy combo to finish. Yeah. Like, I think playing both Unbounds and Mana Tide is probably pretty smart here. Yep. Um, he doesn't really have a lot of other options, because he has nothing that immediately draws a card in his hand. So he's going to be getting scared, too, because there's six damage that we see on the board, and he's at 22, and he knows that this is one of these quick kill decks, I'm sure. Yeah, for <laughs> sure. All right. What well, is it going to be for Twisted? Can Twisted finish him off, I guess, is the question. We can't I see, quite see his hand. <laughs> I see the tiger. I see the Stranglethorn tiger. And I see, see the Earth eye Shock, of that too. Tiger? No, I can't quite see the eye of the tiger, but. Oh, okay. I'm sure there was some sort of, like, training montage before he went into this King of the Hill. Mm. Where the song Eye of the Tiger did indeed play. Alright, let's see here. Uh, sorry about the video game, guys. This happens sometimes. Yeah. Videos can go wrong. Technology and all that jazz. It's magic to me. Thanks, Obama. <laughs> I don't even understand. <laughs>
Just blanket blame, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Probably his fault. Gotta find someone to blame, right? Mm-hmm. All it right. looked like he was thinking of playing the strength of the run by what we yeah. see he's thinking of attacking here. It's obvious there's not lethal, so I think so too. Yeah, I guess that's that. Uh, oh, there's a the tiger anyway. Yeah. I would say that that is a very possible lethal for the next turn with the Stranglethorn out there. Like, yeah, without being able to see everything in his hand, I, I think that's pretty likely. Now, because I think he, he does can have a kill him right now. If you play the the totem in the middle of those two, you tack for eight. Yeah. And then you go Leroy next to it, Wind Fury, and that's going to be an additional 16. So eight plus, eight 16, plus 16 is 24. Yeah, okay, that is Bam. enough. Yeah, there you done go. Done and done. That's lethal. I think he's hovering over it. Yeah, he's just checking out. He's just adding up. you got to yeah. really be careful. You know, when you go for... When you think you have lethal and then you're, like, too short, you're like, oh, yeah, lots of people are going to see this. No, if you play him first, you don't get lethal. Yeah, well, if you it depends on right. No, yeah, yeah, you don't. You don't get lethal. Yeah, because no. you need you need uh. uh well, we, right. Let's let's recount. I don't want right. to be stupid. We always um, we, that I do that a lot. It's quite possible to be wrong. Yeah. Eight. Yeah, that's definitely eight because plus two to each. Yep. And then then you play Leroy next to Leroy, the totem. Yeah. Right. Plus another eight. So three times 16. eight is twenty-four. So yes. yeah. Okay. okay. There we go. He got he it. Knows. All right. Yeah. He knows it's happening. Yep. Just got to take the time to figure it out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's always fun. Like, I, I love all these decks. Like, Handlock is the same way, where it, you'll be surprised how many turns you just have lethal on, you know? Yeah. And, you know what? Keeping those unbalanced maybe makes more sense at this point as well. Uh, uh, yeah. Because, yeah, you know, there's so. things that are going to live a little bit longer. So, yeah. GG. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, this taking the first game uh, very nicely. That's right. Well, guys, this was able to take game number one, and now Twist is bringing out the Miracle Rogue, so really not pulling any punches here in the King no. of the Hill, trying to get some wins. Certainly not. Yeah. Uh, you know, this... You know, it's hard having his name be this. This, uh, because this is like, difficult. This deck for Twisted is, uh, you know, it's obviously a very good deck. We saw that him deck. use Miracle before. He was extremely mm -hmm. good with it. Uh, this version doesn't have... Assassin's Blade. Yeah. So uh, instead, he has the double Azure. He has double Earthen Ring in here, um, and he's playing like two Cold Bloods and two Conceals. So definitely a deck that uh, has a lot of punch in it. Mm. Now, if he can deal with like the taunts and whatnot, I feel like it's going to be a little bit quicker than this is kill. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, it, it comes down to a lot of things. If there's uh, the Feral Spirits out, obviously you'll be looking to have that Blade Flurry in hand. And there's only one of them, you know, because this is that type of Miracle Rogue that generally only runs one. And, you know, Fan of Knives is not going to clear that too well. So we'll, yeah. we'll see. I mean, he needs to be very conservative with specific cards, but I'm sure he knows the matchup well. And we'll just have to see if this can get a 2-0 lead or if Twisted can tie it up. Maybe we should just call him the... Digsnil. This from now on. Dig, dig <laughs> this NL. How about this NL? This NL. That could make uh, it a lot easier. I suppose. I think he is from Netherlands, right? That must be what the NL is. It has to be. <laughs> oh god. I'm not gonna so make stupid. any assumptions. This, is, this, is, this was a bad call by me. <laughs> yeah. Um, Why did we bring this guy on? <laughs> Who do you think? Who takes this? Uh, I don't know. I mean. This looks pretty good for Twisted. I huh? see how I turned it around there. Wow. A bit, but I think I think in any in any matchup almost in nearly any matchup you have to go with the Miracle Rogue. Twisted's a very talented Miracle Rogue player specifically, mm -hmm. so you will see. Yeah. I mean, this type of Shaman deck that this this is, little, this is playing has been you know out of style for a while. So can mm -hmm. it handle the Miracle Rogue? Well, I guess we'll have to see and find out. I'm gonna give it to Twisted. Though. Yeah, I'm giving it to Twisted yeah. as well. All right, well, guys, let's move into game number two and see who takes it. And here we are, guys, in game number two, Twisted versus this, or really however you want to pronounce it. It's up to you. Anything is fine. And again, it looks like we're going to have the uh, video issue with Twisted's I, I assume we'll have that for the whole day. series. Yeah, I guess so. All right, well, whatever. Shaman, a hand that we haven't seen quite as much lately, so we can just assume that Twisted Sand always has, like, two preparations, <laughs> you know, like, everything he needs, you know, a couple yeah. gathers and auctioneers. Everyone's pretty used yeah. to Miracle Rogue at this point. Yeah, so. I would say so, yeah. And there's the SI7 agent coming out with the coin to take down the totem. So there's a 3-3 on the board early on. 
Mm. And you just got a totem here. I mean, you don't yeah, you totem don't have mana tied or anything. Right. Like, yeah. You gotta you gotta minimize the amount of damage or amount of totems that this guy is gonna end up clearing. Yep. It's too bad because I think he would have really preferred to play mana tied totem. Oh, of but, course. Yeah. Oh well, that's fine. Yep. Exactly. And I mean, the thing is, is that if another three three comes out or something like that, you know, he's got the flame tongue totem to buff up his one one. But looks like he's just gonna lose it to the hero ability. Not too surprising there. It's smart. Clean up those totems. Yeah. Uh, you actually got a little bit lucky that it was a 1-1 one, one totem. That's oh, small. yeah, totally. You can't let those totems get out of hand. No. So, uh, Yeti comes down. Kind of annoying to deal with at 5 health for a Miracle Rogue. That's, like, kind of a stretch to do that much damage sometimes. Oh, totally. I mean, this is the type of card that you really want to play against Miracle Rogue because mm -hmm. it's rec it's going to require a couple different cards coming out. It's always going to go, like, 1 for 2, maybe 1 for 3, and he's actually just going to Phantom Knives draw and pass the turn. Wow. Okay. Ooh. Now this is starting to get a little bit good for yeah. this. I like this play right here. And uh, he's going to go ahead. I know. it's That ID, man. That uh, ID. Oh, we got the healing totem too. All so right. good. Really good. Yeah. yeah. Now not even Eviscerate gets rid of that. So this is really near solid. perfect right now. Indeed. And the oh. thing is, look at his hand too. Like Argent Commander could possibly come out next turn. Or I mean, if a minion's played, probably going to play the fire elemental. Yeah, I would say so. But, uh, and then with the the axe plus wind fury plus the totem in hand like he's getting super close to killing him he actually is yeah he's getting a lot of that burst it's getting pretty terrifying <laughs> well it's uh, shaman is so much fun i i love the burst that wind fury gives you and i think wind fury has been a very underutilized card for much of hearthstone's life yeah, i i remember uh you were quite a fan of that oh, yeah, card man. a very long time ago. I had the greatest Shaman aggro deck, like, in <laughs> month, month two of the beta. It was right before BlizzCon, I think it was, yeah. Well, uh, he does go ahead and play the Azure Drake and cleans up that Mana Tide, so that's a very yep. strong turn, obviously. Yeah, might as well. Yeah, and uh, no big surprise here. We should be seeing that spell power being gotten rid of. Yeah. And the thing is, he's keeping so much pressure on this Miracle Rogue. Uh, really having a hard time with it is Twisted. Well, there's going to be so much damage coming in next turn if Twisted doesn't clear most yeah. of this board. Yeah. This is... Like, he can deal 18 easily next turn. In fact, no, he's got lethal for next turn. I'm sorry. Uh, yeah. He has a very easy lethal. Yes, he does. Still has lethal. I'm pretty sure, yeah. right? Uh, well, oh, not, nope, anymore. not anymore. No. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, that's what happens when you can't see their hand. Yeah, um, that's true. <laughs> it just makes it more exciting. Oh. All right. Oh, there's a double flame he tongue. He might have right. it. So if well, he double flame see. tongues... He puts a rock biter on the Yeti, right? Yeah. So that's plus four. That'd be uh, 11, 22 damage. 22 plus two more from this guy. Uh, uh, 20, yeah, four, 24. He, he has enough. That's Wait, oh, no, no, no don't it? do it. Yes, because. Hold on. It's if He puts one on either side of the Yeti, so that's yeah. eight plus three for the rock biter. That's uh, 11 times two is 22. And then he uh, just attacks with his healing totem. That would have been 24. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well. Boom! Well, Miss well, Lethal, chat. OMG! Have fun with that, yeah, Miss Lethal, Go there you insane. go. Miss Lethal, all caps. Spam um, it. <laughs> yeah, that was definitely quite a mistake, but the thing is, he's still going to be able to kill him. There's no way that you're going to burst for, on turn 7, you yeah. just don't burst for 24. Well, minutes. this was not the optimal play for mm. this turn, but this should still be okay. <laughs> oh god, it just will never end. I know. Um... Uh, we'll, we'll see how much gets well, maybe cleared. Yeah, that's a, a more. Uh oh. No, I mean that's still. Oh, okay. It, it should be. Oh yeah, that's definitely. Right. I mean, definitely. The same play is still there. Well, yeah, you can still do 22 damage with that chill and yeti. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, you know, obviously dealt some more damage. So I think he's gonna not miss lethal this time, though. I hope not. If, if he does, chat's gonna never recover. Oh, I know. Okay, uh, he sees it. Yeah. There we go. All right. So that's that's easy. Yep. I wonder if he realizes now that he has. Uh, uh, maybe. Who knows? He decides to go with the axe. Wait, were right. we wrong? I don't think so. Oh, wait, so. no, because he had, he had the storm force. Uh, anyways, yeah, yes, okay. Here we go. Yeah. That's lethal. That's game. And he did miss lethal before. So. Exactly. Boom, headshot. <laughs> Let's go on to game three. Whatever. <laughs> yeah, bro. All right, guys, well, it's time for game number three between Twisted and this. And this time, Twisted, it's starting to get confusing, has brought out the ramp deck to try to stop it. I feel like Miracle Rogue was a good choice, but yeah, ramp yeah. is going to theoretically do well as well. It's got a lot of taunt, and, and these big OTK decks generally don't have the ability to remove taunt and do a big combo at the same time. Yeah, so you know, they could rely be on hard. You know, yeah, yeah. He has the possibility of like nine taunts yeah. in this game. Uh, the weakest of which would be like 
five health and a divine shield, or yeah. six health, whichever way you want to look at it there. So, uh, definitely could be an issue. But you know what? There are a couple earth shocks, there are hexes, there's a lava burst in here. Mm -hmm. He's definitely got some cards to help deal uh, with these. It's just. If the ramp I, gets going, that's really the yeah. key. I mean, if he gets that ramp early on, which this deck is designed to do, he may be able to play just too much big stuff too fast for uh, this, to, this to handle. It's yeah. basically the premise here behind uh, Twisted's deck. And the thing is, even when you hex something, I guess it's still a taunt, right? It's still a taunt. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a good point, actually. That's that's why like hex is kind of like a double-edged sword when you're playing these yeah. like aggressive <laughs> OTK decks. If he doesn't have like yeah. a, a Blood Mage out or a Stormforge Axe on, who knows? Maybe that taunt is still... Uh... Still, still going to take a lot of damage. So. Still going to absorb something, right? What, what do you think between the two decks? Which which one do you um, favor here? You know, I, I'm surprised, actually, that we're going into this situation. I thought Miracle was going to be able to handle Shaman. Yeah. Um, it didn't. And, you know, by the same token, I feel like Ramp Druid should be able to handle the Shaman. But, you know, with Hearthstone, you just, like, never really know. I still feel like I need to give the edge to Twisted, but... This is certainly playing a very good deck. He certainly knows mm -hmm. how to play it. It's got a lot of burst potential. So Twisted needs to get the defensive stuff going early, needs to get those taunts out. If he doesn't, I think it's going to be a loss. Mm -hmm. If he does, I think it's going to be a win. So we'll see. You know, I, I, I've always felt like a, like a, a Shum deck like this, because this you know, it is called like OTK Life Goes Fast, but yeah. it's not really that different, as we were talking about before, from uh, previous Shaman mm -hmm. decks. It's actually... Pretty, pretty darn similar. I mean, it's it's um, it's OTK, but it only has one win theory in it, so you know he's yeah, not focusing so much on the big, big burst. I mean, when you know. see the Unbounds, the Chill Win, the Defenders, yeah. it's like, oh, okay, this is still like a kind of regular Shaman deck. Yeah, pretty uh, much. And back in the day, I felt like Shaman against Druid overall was like a pretty good match. Could go either way. Um, against the Ramp, I haven't just, I haven't seen or played it that much against Ramp because yeah. Ramp came into popularity after Shaman kind of fell out. Right, right. So it's like hard to exactly place it, but I mean, there's going to be a lot of big minions out there, so mm -hmm. can be hard to deal with. I guess a lot of it does depend on like, does Luffy get a nice Ramp start? Right, exactly, or a Twisted Rather using Luffy's deck. But we can call him yeah. Luffy. This I don't know why. I, to. I, I was looking at the deck. Okay, I'm. Uh, oh, this is bad. Let's. let's this go is why this people game. need to stop using player names in their deck names. <laughs> yes, forget well, about it. Well, it's nice though. I do have to say to give credit where credit is due on these decks as well. Uh, right. So, like a lot of times when I'm making my decks, I'll like put the name of the person just so I remember who I got it from. I that's I actually do it too, so I can yeah, go back and talk to him later. Exactly. Yeah. It's yeah. like kind of a reminder and you know. But then you see this and just confuses us poor cats. Well, we're, I mean we're the ones that have it hard. We're the right? victims. We're that's the, victims the problem, here. yeah. <laughs> Alright. Well it's time to get into game number three guys. We'll see if Twisted can start the comeback or if this will put himself one game away from winning the IR through King of the Hill. And welcome, guys, to game number three, this versus Twisted, and uh, this really making a good run with his Shaman deck. There's a little bit of chatting in case you want to read that quick. Quick screenshot it. Put it on Reddit. <laughs> All right, there we go. And so it's just going to be a taunt start, or a, t a totem start. Taunt totem. I said taunt too many times in the intro, apparently. That's okay. Yay, sucks men. <laughs> uh, better add on to that. I think, oh, suck, what? Yeah, sucks <laughs> men feels bad. Sucks men feels bad. <laughs> I, the less said cool. about that, the better. All right. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> um, looking at this this uh. Uh, hand from Twisted, like I guess he's got that swipe, which definitely has to come out this turn. Yeah. What else has he so. got there? He's got like a Ancient of Lore. He's got a Sunwalker. Yep. Uh, the coin. He has a yeah. healing touch. He has a not necessarily the greatest cards to see in your hand, but I guess he's yeah. okay for now, dealing with everything that this I, has put out. I, you guys didn't see this, but when Artosis was trying to look at the hand, he was actually actually leaning forward. Oh my god, as if, <laughs> as if he could, like, peer through the edge of the monitor. It doesn't yeah. work like that. This is a That's 2D That's pretty screen. funny. <laughs> Tell me that you've never done anything like that. Like, All right. I, I like, when have... I'm playing a video game, like, a racing game, like, I lean into the I was about to say, stuff, I, like... I may have learned from, leaned from side to side when I'm yeah. playing Mario Kart once in a while. I, I admit it. Okay. It happens. You got me. It happens. Well, it looks like it might be the Flame Tongue Totem. I mean, yeah, it's a way to take out the Druid of the Claw. Um, yeah, I think that's actually pretty yeah. cool, especially if he uses Swipe already, play those Wolves with it. That's fantastic. Totally. Yeah. Because, like, with the Swipe already gone, all he's going to have that can deal with that is Wraths and one more Swipe. So. Yeah, I totally agree. I mean, that's the thing about Druid is that if you can get a Swipe-proof board out, there's not a whole lot they can do oftentimes, and we don't really see that ultra-fast ramp happening for Twisted this game, too, mm. so he's in a little bit of trouble. Yeah, like, it looks like he was considering playing Sunwalker, not the strongest play in yeah. a situation like this. Well, it would just get cleared so fast. I... Uh, it's, here, like, 
this is a hard board to deal with. Yeah. The thing is, he used the swipe, and it was right to use that swipe there, but... You had to, yeah. This is, like, really, really scary. Well, there's the Sunwalker, and, I mean, it's it's not optimal, but it is the best play for him at that point, a defender of Argus. Hmm. Uh, there's a lot of good options here for him. I think you sack your wolf and Lava Burst this guy and hit for 10. I, I agree, man, yeah. Because, like... Totally worth it. With that Rock Biter in hand, and, like... This board, if that's the play he plays here, mm -hmm. you're probably in some trouble. Yeah, I think right? so too. I mean, because like, you're already, if that happens, if you get him down to 19, Twist is already going to be starting to worry about OTK. Mm -hmm. You know, it's getting that close already. So. Uh, looks like he wants to use uh, the Rock Bear, which this is can, fine as well to trade that oh, instead yeah. of a Wolf. He can totally take damage and he keeps everything alive yeah. here too. Yeah. So, two more damage. Now it's 12. God. 17 health for Twisted. This Shaman deck. He's, this it's has been getting the draws, stuff. and it's been brutal. Yeah, yeah. It's and the thing is, his isn't so combo-y like we saw from Twisted. It's yeah. not like, really just like, let me kill you. It's <laughs> It's got all the different answers as well, and he's doing a fantastic job with it. That's just a good solid deck. Ah, here we go. So where's the hex? Where's the Earthshock? He gets <laughs> it. Oh, no. That's a good draw. Yeah, that's a, good that's a draw. pretty decent draw. Yeah, not too bad. All right. Well, obviously, we're going to see, I think, the Earthshock this turn. I'd be pretty surprised if not, right? I don't like, know what else he would play. The thing is, play. he's got 10, 11, 12, uh, yeah. and then he can even add four more damage with that Flame Tongue. I mean, the thing is... Like, he could bring him to so low this game. Yeah. You could you could even you could even Earthshock attack with the Yeti, then play the uh, Defender of Argus and get the Yeti above two health so that he'd be, you know, kind of wrath-proof and oh, also, yeah, yeah. Uh, also swipe-proof, too. too. But if I you want to play put... ultra-safe. Yeah, I guess you could put that on the left side of the Yeti because you don't yeah. want to do that with your Flame Tongue. But yeah, exactly. Don't want to give that time. Looks yeah. like he wants to bring him down to about one here. Okay. Sure, why not? Because that's, that's how that goes. All right. Yeah. Yep. Attack with a little bit more. Gets the attack of the Flame Tongue now. And actually, he could have done a little bit more damage here. Yeah. Um, but it looks like... I I don't know why he wanted that Flame Tongue right there like that. I guess... Oh, okay. It's because he has all these taunts and to have the Flame Tongues next oh, to each other. Oh, there it is. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, uh, okay. no Thalno Starfire answer for that, I guess. <laughs> that is it. Wow, that's the end of Game 3. Hey, guys. It is time for Game Number 4 of the I Heart You King of the Hill between Twisted and this and this is one game away from winning 4-0. He's been crushing with a Shaman deck, and I don't know, man. I mean, it just seems like no matter what Twisted brings at him, it just isn't enough. It's It's been a little bit of a bizarrely one-sided match. I mean, he's bringing out Handlock now. Handlock, one of the most solid decks ever yeah. in Hearthstone. Like, if this... I want to say if this doesn't do it, nothing will, but if this doesn't do it, the match will be over anyway, so I guess <laughs> that will literally be true. But, yeah, if this doesn't yeah. do it, nothing will, and nothing has. What do you think about Handlock? This one's... It's a little bit different. I mean, we actually have Ragnaros in there, yeah. which is not something you see in a ton of Handlock decks these days. But, no, it's... Uh, yeah. I mean, Rag is a solid card for, for many is, decks. Yeah. A control deck like this, it'll do fine. Uh, like, I personally don't like Rag and Handlock all that much. I don't really He's like really either, expensive yeah. for what he does, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, but it's not like a bad call, I don't think. Well, so many of those later turns, too, you're saving that for like the, you know, Molten, uh, Defender of Argus kind mm -hmm. of play. You need to set up some taunts usually when you're getting to around that mana turns, unless the game is going like really yeah, well for yeah. some reason. So. He, well, I mean, this is, I guess it makes it better against other control decks. That is part of it, yeah. It's more, it, it feels like, yeah, that was. Maybe a nod towards other control decks a little bit more. Yeah. Um, Could be. We'll see. But, yes. Yeah. Then I think you don't really need Alex Draws against other control decks, but, mm -hmm. uh, okay, I mean, the, it's, it's nothing wrong here. I really feel like this matches up well, and I know we've been saying this, like, mm -hmm. every game, but this does match up well against Shaman because you've got two Hellfires, you've mm -hmm. got Shadow Flame as well, so you've got multiple ways for big, big board clear. He's got Siphon Soul for, like, the yeah. uh, Fire Elementals and things like that, so... I think I would have yeah. actually uh, probably played this a little bit earlier. The the one thing that I see is like when it, whenever I see Shaman against uh, Handlock, mm -hmm. the first thing that pops in my mind every single time is, do they have Earth Shock for your Twilight Drake? Because if they yeah. do, I think it favors Shaman. If they don't, I think it favors Handlock. So I always get so afraid that's... when my opening hand for Handlock has a Drake, but like no Mountain Giant. I'm like, oh great, he's probably yeah. you just know he's gonna get Earth Shocked, and then you know if he doesn't, it's great. But yeah. that threat is out there, right? It's, so 
Yeah. Like the hexes and the earth shocks are super important here. Yeah, and, yeah. You know, he does have a lot of bursts, so definitely has the potential to win. Mm. Uh, I would lean it a little more towards a handlock. I'm like a big we, handlock fan. Yeah, so. you know, every game we've been leaning towards twisted decks, and I feel like it is a better matchup, but Shaman can just generally beat anything. And that's what we've seen. I mean, twi uh, this has played it quite well. Mm -hmm. and Oh, I guess we'll see if he can do it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's, uh, I guess, jump into this game and see how this one goes. Alright guys, a moment of truth for Twisted here in game number four. He needs to win, otherwise this will take it. Knock him off the throne on the King of the Hill. You don't sit well, on the Iron Throne for long though. No, certainly not. Uh, right. I gotta say this has a really bad hand for this matchup. Uh, like this is, it's slow, it's got a lot of high cost guys. And yep. There's nothing going on for him right now. And in fact, I think coining out this Mana Tide is the, the right play because he knows he's against Handlock already. Mm -hmm. And he has none of the tools that he needs. Yeah, he totally needs to get the draw going. And he gets a Flame Tongue Totem, which is okay. Mm -hmm. Now we can see a little bit of Twisted Hands. Or Twisted's yeah. hand. And, uh, okay, he's got the Earthen Ring, he's got the Siphon Soul. Ah, there's a nice Very silence nice. for the Iron Beak. Yeah, Not gonna much get perfect. anything much better than that for, for the Iron Beak. Okay, yeah. he, gets, Ooh, good. he gets the Hex, so that's actually good and important. Yeah. Um, probably just play the Earthbound here. Like, he needs to, I guess, get things on the board at the moment. The thing is, is when Handlock doesn't have a coin and you get a card out of them in the first, like, couple turns, you're gonna be feeling pretty good because then you know you're not gonna see a super early Mountain Giant. Mm. And then if you do see something early, it's gonna be that Twilight Drake, which Shaman can theoretically uh, handle pretty well. So this uh, probably is feeling okay about it. Well, we'll see what he plays next turn. If he has yeah. the Mountain Giant or the, the Twilight, things could go a little bit wrong. Especially if it's Twilight, because there's only a Hex in hand. Yeah. Like, if you can bait that Hex with a Twilight, you feel fantastic. Yeah. But again, as I said before, if it's an Earthshock, that sucks. That's the thing, yeah. you got to be worried about it. And he's hovering over Defender of Argus, I believe, right now, which I don't think he's going to play. Maybe that was Sun Fury Protector. It's hard to see. But yeah. we'll see. <laughs> I do see a Sun Fury in his hand. I can, like, barely... I'm, like, starting to try to peek over the edge now, too, aren't I? Yes, indeed. <laughs> you gotta stop doing that. Alright, Mortal Coil. I like that play. Oh, That's okay, nice. yeah. Yeah, get the card draw. Yeah, I may as well see what's uh, coming up next. Yep. And what's it gonna be? Something pointing to the amount. Ah, yeah, that's Soulfire. I love to keep Soulfires early when I play Handlock or Unbound Elemental specifically because they ah, can yeah. get out of control so fast. Certainly, they get uh, pretty scary indeed. Yeah. Well, he does lose a Siphon Soul, which could be useful later on, but. Uh, yep. Has to do it. Yeah. Now we see the Chillin' Yeti coming out. Pretty solid. Yep, and that is like the longest living owl in Hearthstone history right I know, there. Right? Yeah. <laughs> He's a badass. He's, a He's wise been doing damage. He, you know, he, he silenced a totem and helped to kill it. He alley-ooped for that mortal coil. That's right. <laughs> the owl's a team player. Okay, so a little bit of healing. And I mean, that's not too surprising. It, it's generally, you know, you can kind of... You can't really assume that they don't have Molten Giants in their hand because you still will do that early on just to sustain the game longer anyway. Uh, I gotta say, this has to be really happy. The fact oh, that dude, yeah. no uh, giants or drakes have been seen yet. Yeah. He's getting to develop his board with this much slower hand, so things are looking pretty good for him. Uh, looking at the hand that we have for Twisted, though. Ooh, okay. Oh, that was really nice. Uh, yeah. Looking at the hand we have for Twisted, though, like what I can see is like he has. He's starting to get some giants. He has Rag, he has like Leroy and Faceless, so he's like there's Draxus a lot of bursts there. there. Yeah, oh, he has Draxus in hand. Yeah, you're yep. right, he does. Oh, that could be Alex Strauss, I suppose, too. Oh, we're, yeah. We're seeing a nine, like the tip of a legendary card. Yeah, I, think that's, I think that's Alex Strauss. I think it is, too, yeah. I was going to say, yeah. Okay, why not? Why not? I think this is a good turn. Yeah. Okay. Get it out there. Do yeah. a little bit of damage. You can see he's got the hex, because it's gigantic on the screen right now. Yeah. Yep. Uh, as for Twisted here... Oh, well, you've got a Mountain Giant play, and... You really want to do Thing something is, about the Fire Elemental. Does he... He dropped a Siphon Soul earlier. Does he have another one, maybe? If he were to play a Mountain Giant, there is a very possible lethal next turn. <laughs> yeah. Like, it, a Wind Fury would end up killing him. You need that block. Especially it's now. so tough. Yeah, does he have to... I think he, he has Siphon Fury Protector, though. Yeah. yeah, he does. Okay. Okay. Right. Uh, and this is where Hex comes into play. Yep. Oh, and he has a Storm Forge. Oh, That's actually nice. a nice draw, because yeah. now he can actually go to face for six. But if he does that, let's not forget... 
uh, Molten Giants become very cheap. Yeah, that's true. I mean, you generally want to keep uh, Handlock at around, like, 15-ish health um, until you're ready to kill them, right? Because 15, they can still play the Molten Giants, but they can't really do a lot of yeah, crazy combos true, with it. So true. I feel like that's, like, a safe range, you know? Gotta agree with you on that one. Yeah. Uh, and he's actually going to keep them up in that range, as you said. And, yeah. And, you know, that's I think that's a, a good it's idea. It's a smart play. Like, yeah. yeah, sure, a Hellfire would clear this, but... That deals three damage to himself. It's like brings him down to fourteen. It really negates the rest of his turn. So yeah, this yeah. shouldn't be too scared at the moment. Nope. I think uh, this should feel pretty comfortable. It does. Will this? <laughs> oh, oh god. This player. Just keep walking into the this this ID. This guy. <laughs> Maybe it's just Thidge Saturday Night Live. Whoa! I think you got it. I think that's it. That must be where it's from. He's a big fan of SNL. Okay. Right. What does he discard? Oh, the Siphon Soul. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so let's see what he hits with this. Uh, hits a totem, not That's necessarily what you want to hit. Not exactly. Uh, um, well, I mean, the thing is, too, is that he can bait out another Hex. So in this particular case, he feels pretty comfortable playing it. Uh, now, what are we going to see here? All right, so two Oh, damage. man. He actually, there's no clean way to deal with this. Because, like, no. he can go for Argent plus the, the Storm Forge. I yeah. mean, uh, I'm sorry, the... Uh, the if Rock Fighter, but then he has to use his Storm Forge as well. I believe if he had uh, 7 times 14, yeah, even if he had a Wind Fury, uh, if he had Wind Fury in his hand, it would be lethal. But he doesn't have Wind Fury, so it can't well, quite he doesn't have do it. Mana, so. Well, it, with the uh, Flame to Totem, I believe he. Oh, yeah, he wouldn't have had enough. Never mind. Ugh. All right, to the well, face. Ouch. Well, I mean, you were going to take 8 damage from it at some point anyway, so why not? Yeah, I suppose. Um, I feel like I might have thought about going for like the wolves and the totem and totem, mm. just to have like a lot of uh, targets out there. But yeah. then of course Hellfire and stuff makes things very very dicey. So yeah, the, the I get him. I get him going for that move. Yeah, the feral spirits just aren't as strong in mm. this matchup. But could have been okay. More targets for Rag is never a bad thing. And there's a nice big taunt. And now we're kind of seeing what we're talking about, where it's it's tough to deal with all these big taunts, and he doesn't have the air shock, he doesn't have the hex. Yeah. Well, he could go with uh, flame elemental and lightning storm. He can still deal with it, yeah. So like he can he can get rid of it. It's just like he's starting to use a lot of resources, and that's yeah. You know, there's a very good chance that he'll be uh, quite overloaded next turn. Yeah, it's just not efficient, you know. Mm. Like. Could even consider something like double lightning storm. <laughs> Ugh, I, I don't like that. He's seeing how the damage rolls for the first one before he plays anything else, and he gets the max damage out of it. So okay, yeah, you just yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, you might as well but, take five more. It's well, you're, you're worried about Leroy, right? He's but dead like, now. Yeah. There's Leroy plus. Uh, oh, there is, isn't there? Plus is the faceless. faceless? In there. Yep, that's twelve. Okay. All right. So twisted, not gonna go down without a fight here. I guess so. Yeah, he's got ten mana. He's got Leroy and faceless, and this is how a lot of games end if you play Hamlock. It's a beautiful thing. Double Leroy for the win, and so twisted will start a little bit of the comeback. Indeed, he will. Uh, thank God, I didn't want a four-zero. Me too. Yeah. All right. Well, we get to go into game number five. Makes me happy. Let's do it. All right, guys, well, it is time to go into game number five between Twisted and this, and I'm really happy that we actually get a chance to see game number five. There was no 4-0. Twisted was able to take it with his handlock deck, but this has brought out a handlock deck that's much better in the mirror. It's yeah. much better going control versus control. Let's talk a little bit about why that is. Well, uh, let's take a look. It's got Big Game Hunter first off. That is, yep. like, the anti-handlock card. It is yeah. so damn strong in the mirror. And uh, Black Knight, too. I mean, talk Black about Knight, strong. seriously, so good. Yeah. He skipped out on the slow cards that don't matter in the mirror, mm -hmm. such as uh, Alex Straws and Draxus. Those just in the mirror, you don't care for them. Yep. Um, and he's got two Shadow Flame, but only one Hellfire. Like, this is so much better for this mirror matchup than is Twisted's. I would really bet that this is going to win. you got to favor this, but I mean, the fun thing about Handlock is that it always has this potential to do enormous bursts. Like, I did 29 damage in one turn yesterday playing Handlock on the so ladder. Crazy. It's it's. I, I love watching this deck. It's one of my favorites, yeah. so getting to see the mirror, we'll see what these guys can do, and uh, will this take the I Hearth You King of the Hill and claim the spot for himself, claim the king spot, the Iron Throne of Hearthstone, I guess you could say, or will Twisted continue the comeback? Let's get into game five and find out. All right, guys, here we go, game number five, and this has been a really good series because I feel like this has been, like, what the ladder has been in NA for the last, yeah. like, 
week or so right now. A lot of handlock, a little bit of miracle rogue, a little bit of shaman. It's it's pretty good. Mm-hmm. It's a pretty good litmus sort of of uh, what we're seeing right now in NA. It, it certainly is. And probably um, EU too, actually. I don't uh, play EU. So. <laughs> They're well, usually uh, pretty similar. Yeah, yeah, they generally are. A lot of people yeah. play both. Uh, as far as hands go, I really don't care for the hand of this. Uh, it's mm, not it's yeah. not very good. You really want to have a drop on turn four, whether it's Mount Giant or the Drake. Yep. So Well you still life tap to see what you get, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. I mean at least he's gonna draw some cards. Ah, but the Drake does come out and that's a lot of pressure that's gonna be put on to this. Yeah, I mean this with no response really, I mean, what do you do here? You count your cards and you look at your hand and you say, Oh You're like, I have to play something this time. I don't have any good oh, plays. Oh man, and there's Iron Beak. Oh well, well I, like, like, I would definitely play that. Yeah. <laughs> Might as well. Oh, that makes him remove it, right? Like, either that or you guys, he's going to lose his straight. Now you cross your fingers and you're like, please, no mortal coil. Yeah. Yeah. Well, let's see what he has here. Mm. Of course, we can't quite see. And Defender of Argus. Well, that won't save him from the owl, but what else does he have? He's just going to trade. All right. Okay. Um, Interesting. Yeah. Uh, well, I huh. guess that leaves his 2 3 owl. And I mean, it doesn't do more damage. And I mean, the thing is, is Twist is like, well, he didn't have any four drops, so if he's got a couple Moltens in his hand, I don't really want to help him get those faster. Mm. So I can kind of see it, but I don't know. I'm kind of I surprised he attacked into that. I, I feel like the five phase, phase yeah. would have been better. Yeah, I agree. Huh. And now we're seeing a Hellfire. May as well. Just get rid of the two, three. May I mean, as well, right? Yeah, you yeah. have to anticipate drawing those uh, drawing those Molten Giants, and you have to get rid of cards in your hand. Yeah, he has, he has too many. He's just got to yeah. kind of sit here and hope that he gets something going on. Here's the big thing, though, is that this actually has the Leroy Power Overwhelming Faceless Combo, and that's he 20 does. damage if you can get to turn 10 and not have to deal with taunts. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, yeah. you know, he does have a Siphon Soul in there, which is quite yep, nice. Yep, you can set that up on turn uh, 9, and we'll see what happens. Shadow Flame uh, plus uh, Power Overwhelming, that's a big one that I oh, yeah. have a lot. So, like, as soon as turn 8, you can wipe a 6 power board, and then right. a little bit later, uh, something a bit bigger. You really want to keep that for the combo if you can, but you gotta use it if you gotta use it, you know? It's a good versatile card. Uh, it looks like we just saw that... Just a Sunfury Protector. I, yeah, and I think that what he just said in that chat right there was that he miscounted there, and mm. counted on his Drake living through that, but uh, oh, obviously yeah. that wasn't the case. Whoops. Oops. That uh, does happen. Oh, oh, and there goes the Power Overwhelming! Oh, up. man. Oh, but you know what? His hand is looking better and better, especially since no Giants have been played. Yeah, he's got the BGH. He has to toss something else. Yeah. So there's the uh, Defender of Argus. He's got a second one in his hand, so it's okay. And in two turns, he's got the combo of BGH plus Faceless, which is insane. Yeah, that's, that's really like good. That's like really, really strong. So. Well, it's a good way to make up for the fact that you don't have any Giants. You know, if Giants were played earlier on by Twisted, then this would have been in terrible trouble with that hand. Yeah. But Right now, everything's looking uh, not nearly as bad. Like, hmm. do you siphon soul here? I would that's say yes. What I'm, that's what I'm wondering. I would lean towards it, especially because you're sub so. 20 health. I think you got to do it. I don't know why you wouldn't. Like, you can siphon soul because you have BGH and you have uh, yeah. faceless. So it's like you have all these ways to deal with giants. Get rid of the Drake. It's, yeah. you know, it's a threat. It's in the way. And it's not like you need to get your health lower at this point. Yeah. Yeah, everything seems to be fine. Like, And now both of the Drakes are out of the way, so I mean, now it's just the four Giants, really, that he needs to worry about. Mm-hmm. Although Twisted does have all that other stuff in there, Ragnaros, um, which I believe this did see last game. So, Yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, so he, he should be aware. Because that. that's an that's interesting piece of information, because not a lot of Handlock runs Rag. So, mm-hmm. yeah. All right, so, uh, you know, he, he can actually start playing some minions out here. For instance, he can throw down an Ancient Watcher and either silence or give taunt. Yeah. Be could bad even idea. do both. You could silence it and then give taunt to it. I, and the owl. <laughs> I, I like that play. Yeah. I mean, you like that one? I, I do. It's, I think it's okay. It seems a bit risky because there's always the temptation to save the owl to get rid of a taunt later on, but mm. I think you need to put some sort of pressure on and you need to ditch yeah, cards in your hand. So, yeah. Especially when you have like Leroy plus... Because look at that, that's 8, 9, 10 damage. He has lethal next turn easily with Leroy and, and the Faceless, right? Yeah, so totally sets you up for that too. Right? If, if like... The two smaller minions or the bigger minion live, he can just kill him next turn. Yep. So, and I mean it's it's fairly you know shadow flame proof too. It's not like you can drop your mm. own ancient watcher and shadow flame it, which is a really good six mana removal. But uh, the health is just a little bit too high for that to be really yeah. effective. Yeah. 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 That was actually a very good play. The more that I look at it. Here. Yeah, I love it. It's very good. So. Does Twisted actually have something to deal with this? Because again, we can't quite see his hand all the way. Yeah. It looks like he's got a molten giant in there. Um, not a lot else. I think that's Jaraxxus, you know, actually, in the middle. Mm, 
Yeah, yeah, that's, sure, yeah. that's Jiraxxus. I see a little bit of green, so it must be Jiraxxus, yeah, right? It. Alex Straza doesn't have any green. Until they think. have the legendary Ninja Turtles, <laughs> I don't think we're going to see a lot of legendaries with green. Indeed. Yep. Well, I mean, Gilded I can't, I can't no. quite see it, but uh, you have to, you have to do some cleaning up here. Yep. Got to do something. Okay, right. so there's Leroy. Right. So he's going to shadow flame. Oh, absolutely, yeah. Okay, so that's good. That's really strong. Um, it sucks that he has to use that up, but he knows that Lethal is most likely just sitting there staring him in the face. Yeah, got to play it safe. Now, do you just play the Giant here? I feel like you might as well just mm -hmm. drop it. I mean, He used Leroy, so I'd life tap Giant, personally. Yeah? Uh, yeah, you could do that. Because if he plays Leroy, he's not going to 17 damage you without Leroy. You can't do it. Exactly, yeah. So, yeah, that's, that's really good. Okay, yeah, I like that. All right. Very and... strong play there. Yeah, there's a giant. All right, so an 8-8 eight, eight on the board for Twisted to deal with. And that's, again, lethal next turn. <laughs> yep. The story He's of the deck, He's on the edge, man. Yeah. If, you know, if he hadn't uh, soul-fired away that, that uh, power overwhelming, he'd just be dead next turn. Well, there's the Siphon Soul, and I mean, it's the point in the game where in Handlock versus Handlock, you just keep throwing stuff at them, and mm -hmm. if it lives a turn, then you win. <laughs> that's, that's basically about it. Pretty yeah. much. It's as close to accurate as we need to get. Yeah. <laughs> um... You know, obviously we have 12 points of damage easily available in hand. Still has that BGH available. Yeah. No giants really come out, though, for Twisted. Not when they do, really. he's in for a surprise. I know, yeah. Okay, oh, this is a Twilight That's Drake. a good draw. Very good draw, yeah. Yeah, he can go Twilight, Ancient Watcher, and Swamp so, them both, and that's really yeah. good. I would, too. Yeah, I don't see any reason not to. Um, yep. Doesn't He wouldn't quite have lethal, but who cares? It's a strong board. Mm -hmm. Yeah. 4 plus 12, that's well, have, 16. Yeah, 6 plus 12, yeah. So that's uh, 18 damage. Oh, yeah, damage. 6 plus yeah. 12, you're right, yeah. When did I get good at this math? I guess oh, it's when I started playing Miracle Rogue and Handlock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Practice Definitely makes perfect, help. right? Indeed. All right. And, of course, there's a lot of cards that you can draw that can help oh, yeah. you finish it off, like Soulfire. Yeah, he hasn't seen any Soulfires at this game. Uh, no, I, he saw the one. That's how he lost the uh, power ball. Maybe. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. He would have been able to kill him already. If and not. he has used a Hellfire as well, too, which I believe was his mm -hmm. only Hellfire, yep. Yeah, he's only playing one Hellfire, okay. which is actually, I mean, that's... Doesn't have power... So really, it's only Soulfire. One Soulfire that he could draw. There's nothing Yeah, that's else the only that way really, to yeah. ensure a lethal next turn. Yeah. Like, I think it's the only way. It is the only way, yeah, because there's no other, like, direct damage. Well, I guess he could... If he drew Defender of... No, if he drew Defender of Argus, obviously, that wouldn't be enough mana then. So, all right, silence. Tap. Yeah. Oh, oh hellfire, okay. hellfire, nice. Okay. Good enough. Yep. Now, if, if only that ancient watcher was silenced. Yep. Then it well, would be he doesn't have any more silences, so I guess that's not gonna happen. Uh, do you double mortal coil here? Yeah. <laughs> I think you kind of have to. Uh, you could likewise go shadow flame and then mortal hmm. coil the other one. Oh, okay. I, I actually like that a little bit better because. Do you? I do, because he only ran one Owl, so he's not going to be able to get any damage out of this Ancient Watcher anyway. So you might as well do that, clear the board. Yeah, and I guess if your opponent yeah. doesn't have Leroy, this taunt isn't quite as important, because he already uses Leroy. Yeah, so exactly. I, think I guess that's fine, and he has the two Shadow Flames, so he doesn't really need both. I mean, you could consider the fact that there's no more Silence for Twisted either, but then, then he draws a Twilight Drake, so that actually worked out really well, yeah. Not and bad. Uh, six health, that's going to be kind of a pain to end up dealing with. Yeah, and again, if it lives, lethal next turn for like the fourth <laughs> turn in a row. It's lethal next this turn is, if it lives. I think that that is just what handlock versus handlock oftentimes is. It is, man, yeah. Wait, oh, does he soul possibly fire? lethal? Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, I don't know why you would soul fire first if you do. Oh, there's the Ragnaros, okay. Oh, okay. And he's going for it. And oh, oh it, it's there so you go. twisted. Gets the lethal with the sniper Ragnaros, and uh, it's two to three, so we've got ourselves a bit of a match now. All right, guys, it is time. This still trying to win his final game to get the King of the Hill champion spot, but Twisted has been able to bring it back to within one game if he can win this one. That's right. He'll tie it up, and Handlock is very strong, but we've got Control Warrior coming in from this. Another, we've got like two of the most solid decks in Hearthstone right now facing off. So yeah. what, do you, what do you think about this as Control Warrior deck? Um, I think that this one is really good against Handlock overall. Yeah. Because, look, he's got Black Knight. Uh, he's got Big Game Hunter in there. Mm -hmm. It's and he's got Brawl, and all solid. three of those are really, really strong cards against this. Of course, the double X Hue, double some, Shell Slam, all that. Too. Some kind of interesting stuff. I mean, he's got two Armor Smiths and only one Accolade of Pain, which is not something we see a whole mm -hmm. lot. And 
And it, yeah, it may yeah, not, a little bit of a difference. It's not going to maybe do him too many favors this game, but it shouldn't make too much of a negative difference either. So yeah. just kind of something interesting. The Acolyte yeah. I, I would favor a little bit, of course, oh, against yeah, of Handlock, course. but eh, whatever. It's not it's not that big a deal, I don't There's think. There's so many like little personal preference things mm -hmm. you can put into Control Warrior that... Uh, and also no cleave, too. But again, yeah. again against this matchup, you no know, big deal. You don't really want the cleave, yeah, to be no. honest. Yeah. Um, I, I, I give a little bit of a favor to the Control Warrior if those Twilight Drakes don't come out. Like, if you yeah. get the, the God Hand, I would say, against Control Warrior, is two Twilight Drakes. Nothing else really matters. Just if you get your Twilight Drakes, mm -hmm. you can force them to use some of their removal that they really want to use on Giants. Yeah, if you uh, get their Executes out yeah. early, you're going to be feeling so good. So. And the thing is, the Twilight Drake does so well against Shield Slam because you can barely yeah. get, if it's a really quick Mountain Giant, you can oftentimes barely get your Shield Slam mm -hmm. into range to kill it off. But if it's Twilight, it has extra one or two health, and it starts picking away at your armor. So then yep. your shield slams become much weaker. Uh, I really, like, when I'm playing this deck or playing the other deck, all I'm thinking about is Twilight Drake. I think it's it's just such an important card uh, in the early game of this matchup. Uh, well, you're absolutely right. So we'll see what the draws will be, and if Twisted can type the series, or if this will take the I Hearth You King of the Hill. Let's get in the game and find out. And here we go, guys. The second moment of truth for Twisted in this best of seven. Again, it's a must-win situation to keep himself alive. And this one win away from taking the whole series. Um, Let's see what happens. What do you think about the opening hand for this? I, I feel like it's it's okay. It's pretty yeah, good. It's, it's not terrible. Yeah. Like, you know, he's, he's got some early minions to mess around with. He's got some possible card draw to help him get into something great. Not, yeah. not a hand I would like against this, but it's not, like, just well, full of his big drops. Well, if he draws, a, a like, a... If he draws a Whirlwind, he's got an amazing turn five. If he can coin out the Armorsmith Acolyte and then Whirlwind, mm -hmm. but he's just going to coin out the Acolyte. Okay. Okay. And I think that's fine because like your yeah. opponent on turn three, his Handlock is not going to deal with that. No, there's there's only Soulfire really, yeah. and, and that's generally a bit of a waste. And you don't want to do it that early too because you're trying to save up for you know whatever you want to play from your hand. So. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. he has a Twilight Drake in there. Does he? I think it's so. kind of that would be that four mana cost card. It's I not. He, I thought Shadow I saw Flame. it on the left. Like I saw another four drop card on the left. And I it, see. It reminded me of Twilight Drake. I'm not 100 percent sure though. I see Maybe. one Shadow Flame, but I think there. I think the other one to the right is a Twilight Drake. Okay. We'll find out. Well, Let's there's see a coin. Here. I you might just go for like a, a Shadow Flame to clean up this. Yeah, or a Hellfire. Yep, there we go. Okay. I always mix these cards up. <laughs> but uh, you know what? That draws another card for this. And yep. That's, that's totally fine. And now he has an execute, so oh, wow. suddenly he has a bunch of cards that he needs. Yeah, and you can just go ahead and play the Armorsmith and probably... Okay, he's going to armor up. Uh, you can play the Axe, too, because you're not really worried about losing it from anything. Uh, uh, nobody really runes weapon removal in, in a handlock, so... Yeah. Would have been safe, sure. too, but getting that little bit of extra armor helps. Oh, and there is a Drake, oh, okay. and so he does you know, have it. the Drake is very annoying. We have to see what he wants to do against this. Does he execute this? Because, huh. again, yeah. the executes, as we were talking about, you really want to save. Yeah, it's kind of a tough call. Hmm. Yeah, I really a tough call. I would say I hate this situation personally. Cause, me too, because I'm like, do you play the Azure Drake and just kind of like let it hit you once and being like, well, I guess I'll have enough damage next turn. But what if they play another one? And the like, thing is, they could soul fire it and yeah. stuff too. I would. I think I would slam, see what I draw, and then try to figure it out. Because yeah. I would even consider using my axe on this on this Drake twice. Like, I just I hate using those executes. I. Yeah. Mm. And running the ar armor smith in, I guess that's one way to proc it, but I don't see a reason to use it right now to, for the proc. Yeah, I mean, if you're going to run your axe into something, you definitely want it to be this rather than an eight damage giant. And he draws another slam. And he's just yeah. going to execute. All right. I think. Yeah, it's kind of it, messy. It's, but... it, it hurts to do sometimes, but I yeah. think he needed to do it. And. You know, if there's no giant for a little bit, it'll be okay anyways. Yep, if he has time to build up that armor and get a shield slam ready for, like, the first giant that comes out, he'll mm -hmm. be in good shape. But Certainly. Yeah, we'll see. All right, just going to be a life type from Twisted, I guess. He's still got four mana. Oh, <laughs> and another <laughs> Drake. Is. Oh, and it's got ten health this time, too. Jeez. All right, well, that's Kind of annoying, I have to say. Yeah, slightly more than annoying. Hmm. Well, here, I think I would just consider going Azure or something, like... Yeah. 10 health, like, why even slam it? It's not going to do anything. Exactly, you can't really do much about this. You might as well get a 5-5 five, five out. He's thinking about face lacing it. I don't know about this. Well, I, I mean, would... I guess a 4-10 uh, equals out a 4-10, right? 
True, but I mean, there could be giants. I mean, there could be like a mountain giant mm. next turn, right? And then you kind of yeah. feel silly for saving your faceless. But we'll see how it works out. It could be good. Mm. Well, I guess uh, you for next turn, he wouldn't have enough for faceless plus big game hunter. So yeah. he'd have to wait two turns to use that. So it was either the Azure, which would just die, mm -hmm. or the 410, which kind of battles against the 410. They kind of null each other out a little bit. Yeah, I eh, suppose. I get it. It's. It's in okay. fact, yeah, I kind of like it. Mm -hmm. I mean, the thing is, is he's trying to draw like a siphon soul or something because with warrior, you have a lot of your own big creatures mm -hmm. later on that you don't want their removal to target, right? So That's, this yeah, is kind of a way to get rid of that too. I guess it could too. draw out a siphon soul. Like that, yeah. that would be a decent target for a siphon soul here for sure. Yeah, especially being at sixteen health already. Mm. So I think I think it's good in that case. I actually really like it a lot more in that particular situation. And Ooh, oh, wow. Big taunts from Twisted. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Yeah. Let's see what uh, this ends up drawing. Corkron Elite. All right. Well, I mean, he could run Corkron, the Armorsmith, and the Drake into the Drake to kill it off. Yeah. Uh, he could... Run, he could run the Drake into the 4-4, four, four, and mm -hmm. then Corkron slam Axe. Would that be enough? Let's see. 5 plus 4, 9. No, it'd be one short. That'd be 10. Ouch. All right. Yeah, that's uh, that's too bad, unfortunately. Azure, yeah, he doesn't have enough to play well, the like, Azure for the spell. Azure or Slam yeah. does, like, three to something. Like, he could trade the Armorsmith in that case. It's like he has to choose next turn if he wants to take four or five damage. It's mm. kind of awkward. Yeah, but I guess at this point, at this life total, you're actually fine with that. It's not really going to affect you too, too much. You know, if he does this, he's not going to have enough to kill the Drake, even with his other stuff. Even if he slams it. Yeah, I think he's leaving the Drake for this turn. Yeah, well... Just like, well, whatever. Um, you can slam the 4-4 uh, four, four and then run into it with your 1-4. And keep 10 health on your Drake, too. But he decides to go with that. All right. And really, there's a lot of different ways you can play that out. That's, that's perfectly fine. There's no fantastic way to, to yeah. do anything here, so... I guess it's all right. You know, he's got tons of health. He's got actually a pretty strong yeah. board here. Yeah, uh, yeah, there's a 5-11 taunt, but whatever. You might draw the Black Knight next turn, who knows? Something like that would be pretty fantastic. Well, that's what he's hoping for. I mean, that's, yeah. you know, what it's there for. And, oh, there we go, okay. Little, little now we're back for a the second. Yep. I was terrified for a second there. Like, uh-oh. Everything's fine. I guess we're never going to know what happens in this No game. one will ever hear this cast. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, it looks like... Twist is thinking you about You've got to get rid of the Azure, right? The yeah, I was going to so say, scary. you can't go for the face here. You have yeah. to clear the board. Hey, there's no reason to go for the face either. He has to stabilize this game a little bit better before he really worries about damage on the warrior because it's so hard to finish a warrior off. Yeah, totally. Worried about the... Uh, not, And he shouldn't be too worried about the execute, actually, because if it wasn't cast last turn, it probably isn't in the hand. Mm. So I He's think already you can used feel, one, so... Yeah, I think you can totally feel comfortable doing this sort of trade. Yeah. Hate giving him armor, but, you know, what do you do? Yeah. Oh, I read oh, girls. Okay. Ah, okay. Alright, that, that, I yeah. think that that's a totally fine play. Either remove one of these pesky minions. And ah, yeah, that's so good. The that's best actually so good. Gone. Yep. And even if you hit him to the face, it's like, oh, okay. Oh, Ooh. well, that's a good draw, though, for uh, this as well. But, Rag is still out there. Yeah, he And is. you don't have enough mana to do this plus BGH. And now it's kind of like, well, you didn't save the faceless, so you can't... It's hard to handle Rag. Yeah, I think you, I guess have to, you have to BGH. The Rag is just too strong, I think. Rag is... is Generally, much more yeah. dangerous, I would say. And well, with the Azure coming out, Let's see what he, see what he draws. Well, whirlwind, but with no uh, no execute. Yeah, you got to do it. All right. Yeah, whirlwind doesn't do anything quite yet, but yep. you know what? This was still a pretty darn good turn. Yeah, I would um, say so. He's still got plenty of armor, plenty of health. Seven damage is not that big of a deal right now for this, and it certainly. still puts pressure on Twisted to clear the board instead of go for face. And as well. to be honest, I think he is going to clear. Like, yeah. attack the Azure to take out the BGH. Does he have Shadow Flame? That's the question here, because that would be so good right now. Uh, Alex Strasso. Oh. Okay. Ooh, now maybe you do. Yeah, go you might face. go to face yeah. from here. This is a possibility, but I would still clear these minions out because. Well, yeah, trading the two three for the four two is mm -hmm. seems pretty obvious, and I, you know, I would still clear as well too. The the five seven for the four four, yeah. you keep two creatures alive. One of them's an eight eight. He's gonna go for face though. Okay. Just getting rid of that armor. Didn't want to give him the opportunity to have like an armor uh, uh, armor up shield slam. Mm -hmm. So or not armor up uh, shield block shield slam. That would have been eight, so, I believe. How do you go about dealing with this? Like you have the spell power. Yeah. I guess slam, like if you do Black Knight, you could go uh, slam, which is three. Yeah. And I guess you could do like a whirlwind. Yeah. And you could take that out. Um, 
You could also Black Knight no. and then slam and then trade both of your creatures into Alex Strasa because since slam does three damage, that would three. be enough. Three plus five. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah of course. Looks like he's thinking about Whirlwind here. He's going give him a lot of armor. That's actually... I really like that, honestly. If yeah. he does do a Whirlwind... Um, I mean, yeah, it gives him quite a bit of armor, which will get him out of Leroy range, I guess. Yeah. Because next turn is the Leroy, you know, uh, faceless, yeah, overwhelming I possibility. I say you uh, Whirlwind and you trade here. Oh, I don't know. Oh, by doing that, that gives uh, less damage on the Whirlwind everything, which is kind of nice. Oh, that's it, true. It's like, that is true. I guess it's like one less armor. It is, but and it's only one less armor. So. Yeah. Okay, I like that. Never mind. And that's of good. course, this armor gain doesn't quite get him out of that range. So if he does have that combo, that's uh, true. If kill you've, him. Yeah, if you've got the combo, you're dead either way, I suppose. Mm -hmm. Does he have the combo? Who knows? This has done a very good job, by the way. He's like managing all these threats pretty well. He's going pretty low on life to the dangerous area, but he didn't really have a lot of choices. Yeah. yeah. But uh, I think he's playing quite a strong game, and so is Twisted. Well, he can come back from the danger zone pretty well as a warrior. Now, does he have... Oh, there's a Defender of Argus. Okay. <laughs> Never ending. Not bad, yep. Yeah. Just how it goes. Shield block, shield slam. So he's going to be able to get rid of that 5-6 with the shield slam if he wants to, and he can also run his Corcron yeah. into the 4-4. Four four. So there's also other ways he can deal with this, too, of course, but... Uh, that's one of the ways in which he could do it and yeah, still I, have creatures come through for I damage. quite like that because it gets his armor so high that like yeah, he's, he's just kind of okay against I think, everything. I think that's a real key thing to it too is that you want to get that armor as he, high as you possibly can right now because mm. it puts him out of kill combo range theoretically, right? Yeah, I'd get him over 20, okay. Yeah, at this point you might be looking at Gorhal as like a, a big amount of damage Oh, the there's a brawl. I think you still save that though. Yeah. You have better ways to clear this time. Have to agree with that. Like, yeah. Brawl, if you just hold on to that for now. And not to mention, if you do the Corcron thing, you can still armor up afterwards, too. So you're going to have 10 yeah. armor. And he has two Corcrons. He doesn't really need them. Oh, really? Looks like he wants to gain some card advantage here instead and maybe okay. use the Corcrons later. Uh, oh, okay. He just yeah, doesn't right. care about armoring up. That's what it actually comes down to. I think he's... Was that his second shield slam? I'm trying to remember. Um, I think it might... If it was, then... I don't think it was. He used an execute for sure. Yeah, I think that was only one. He's yeah, still got so. seven armor though, and you know. If... But this is this is really good how it went down. He's at yeah. twenty one health. That's hard to do in one turn here for sure. And well, nothing's gonna burst it. I he mean, has. They're... Does he have lethal for next? Oh. No, not quite. Yeah, if it, if he had Leroy, uh, Leroy, powerwhelming, faceless, oh, yeah, yeah. and soulfire, he could win. But it doesn't look like he Indeed. has that. Yeah, he has a soulfire, and he can get rid of the Black Knight that way. Is the discard going to be Shadow Flame? Okay. Eh. Not the worst thing to discard. Well, uh, let's see here. Hmm. How do you deal with this one? Yeah. Well, let's see. Well, you know you, what you 50, could 50 do 50-50 Brawl here? Man, yeah. Well, you <laughs> could do that, yeah. Uh, you could go Alex Straza just to have something that says, I'm killing you next turn out. Yeah, I think that would be, that'd be okay as well. You could... Mm. Hmm. Let's see, he's got 8 damage, potentially, if he plays a Corcoran and uses his Axe Charge. If he... Yeah. that's So that really is, like, the most damage he could do in this turn. But that'd be kind of extending a bit. Ooh, do you really want to do that? Whirlwind and then run your uh, Axe into the 8-8? Eight eight. Wow, oh, yeah, wow, I wasn't dude. expecting that. But yeah, uh, alright. Okay. Well, he's gonna gain an armor out of this. I wasn't quite expecting that. I, I think he, he just he's like wanting to keep minions off the board just because of yeah. Like, the thing is, if you kill every every minion they have, that's great. But the things I'd be so afraid of like Leroy combos right now. Looking at the number of cards in the hand, I think you can tell that there's just not gonna be that combo coming yeah. out of Twisted this turn. It's a it's a it's a educated risk mm -hmm. that this is taken. I feel like it's a good risk too because. You're not going to be soul firing if you're worrying about discarding, you know, one of those crucial combo cards. Yeah, so the that's fact that true. soul fire was used, I think, tells him that the combo's not there. It might. It might. Yeah. Right, and, go down to thirteen. This is uh, yeah. getting into some dangerous territory. Well, yeah. I mean, it's it's getting into kill territory if uh, Garrosh comes out and you get <laughs> like a whirlwind or a cool taskmaster. There's oh, the execute. So nice. What about execute, duh? <laughs> what about execute? Pretty sick. I've heard it's pretty good against giants. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, the thing is, you, Brawl is a possibility in a situation like this as well, but I think Execute is the right way to go. I think you can still save the Brawl, yeah. You're yeah. worried about those big, like, two giant taunt turns, which aren't really going to happen this game anymore, I guess, but, yeah, he may just kind of not be using Brawl. There's the Execute, and if he sets it up, 
Alex Straza yourself? <laughs> uh, you could. You certainly could. Because he's getting like super close to being able to kill him because he's got yeah. like a lot of charge uh, on us. Yep. So like, yeah, with Corcron, he's got like nine damage out of nowhere that can pop out. Well, he's got lethal on the board right now. I think mm -hmm. we've got to see a Siphon Soul. Yeah. I think yeah. there is, and I think there is one in Twisted Sand. Yeah, there is. Yeah, I saw that six mana cost. I don't yep. think he has much that had cost six in the stack. Yep. Okay, All so right. should be dealing with that. I don't know that, okay, kind of, the turns are getting a little bit weaker here for Twisted. He's running out of steam a bit. But yeah. in a situation like this, something like a Draxus really can come into play very well. Okay, so let's see what kind of damage that we can see out of this. Baron Geddon plus, uh, so it'd be seven damage that reduces life by half, but it'd also take well, this down to 15, which is always because, dangerous. Because Twisted just used uh, Siphon Soul, I think Baron Geddon's a really good play. Because he has five health, he's just really hard to get rid of. Like, it's, yeah, how it's, do you get rid of five health right now? Oh, exactly. It's you all have to have about, two cards. Well, it's, all about, it's all about being sure that you're not going to die to that Leroy combo. And I, yeah. I, I feel like there's plenty of evidence that states mm. to this that Twisted doesn't have that combo. So while Baron Geddon seems like a risky play, I think it's perfectly fine in this case. Yeah. He could just decide to go for a Corcron too. I mean, he's got the axe, so he can do like nine this turn and then be like, alright, well, whatever, I'll just try to finish him off as I go. But... I, oh, okay, okay so, so maybe attack with this axe. The thing is, if you know your opponent is playing like Alex Straza and Draxus, this is really, really dangerous. Yeah. Because like, if he just plays one of those this turn... It's but pretty good, right? <laughs> I don't believe uh, Twisted... Well, Twisted has shown his Alex Strasso, but he hasn't shown Jaraxxus yet. But the fact that Alex Strasso was shown oh. should mean that Jaraxxus is in yeah. there somewhere. Yeah. But actually, now that I'm looking at it, Doa, look at this. He's got seven points of damage in hand that can be dealt next turn. Right. He got him down to seven with that. That was actually really smart. Yep. So many ways to do it. That's the great thing yeah. about this warrior deck is when it comes to late game, you've got a lot of options you can mm -hmm. draw into. So yeah. Same can be said about Hamlock. Oh yeah, but totally. But does he have anything left for this? Like he needs to deal with this and gain health. Yeah, I don't think he's got the combo. Doesn't look like he does. I mean, he's got Hellfire in there, and there are some crazy Hellfire combos you can do too. But mm. don't think he has to silence. It's a bit awkward. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I'm not. I can't see his whole hand, but like I see a one-cost spell that might be a Mortal Coil. Yeah, I think it is. I think that's Mortal Coil and not Power Overwhelming or anything like that. Yeah. And he already used Leroy. Sure. Or he used Leroy, remember, for uh, for Shadow Flame. That was his game, wasn't it? No, oh that, was the, that was Getting the game. Oh no. Oh, dude, right. it's hard, man. The life of a cast. You're right. That was the. Uh, <laughs> it's so hard. <laughs> we suffer. Okay. Shadow Flame. All right, and that is a Mortal Coil, so. Oh, okay, he makes his own Baron get in. Yeah. Well, that's really sealing the deal on him losing, right? Yeah, I guess so. I mean, you do whatever you can. Oh, he discards Hellfire as well. Okay, he's dead. Yeah. <laughs> that's it. There was there was so many ways in which he would be dead this turn anyway. Yeah, so. that's true. That's there true. it is. And this will take the Iheart through King of the Hell, winning 4-2 uh, over Twisted. We've got a new king on this hill, I guess. GG. <laughs> Well, guys, that's it. Twisted knocked off of the uh, King of the Hill hill already by this is many decks. Did very, very well with Shaman, interestingly enough, early on. And I, I love that, you know, it's so cool that we have this, like, pretty much weekly. I know we've skipped a couple weeks here and there, but having it weekly really shows the shift in the metagame yeah, from yeah. week to week, I think, like, really, really well. And so we definitely saw that this week. Both players bring out Shaman right away. And yeah, then Handlock, that's... Control Warrior, a little bit of Miracle Rogue. Really cool stuff. Really well, good uh, description of the meta right You're now. so right, because if you think about it right, it's like Control Warrior, Handlock, and um, Miracle. Those are like three really big decks yeah. right now. And then Shaman is the new one that like literally just today, as you walked in, you were telling me about some of these Shaman yeah, decks. Yeah, it's like the first thing I Ninja said. I'm like, stuff. these Shaman decks, man. Yeah, It's, uh, it's really interesting, because that's exactly what we saw at a Twisted. So. Yep. Uh, a nice series. It, you know, this really got a lot of wins early on, so it was yeah. pretty hard for Twisted, but... Uh, I think he played quite well with the handlock deck. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, we had some really good games out of it uh, either way, and, you know, at the end of the day, it's it's all about, you know, the cards you draw and how you play them, and this was able to uh, do a little bit better. So, our new iHeartU King of the Hill champion, 
and uh, we'll see if he can stay on the King of the Hill. It's, it's tough. Hard, we man. don't have a lot of people go uh, two or more wins here. It's true. We had a, a few more recently, but once yeah. again, we're seeing them just cycle right through, man. It's a tough sure one. Sure enough, yeah. Well, the meta is rapidly changing, but that makes it fun. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I guess uh, join us next week again for another I Heart You King of the Hill. Thanks to Simon for putting on all the great uh, overlays and crazy graphic stuff you see. He does a great job with that. Without him, this would be impossible. That's right. Certainly would be. And, uh, yeah, go to iHearthU for all your Hearthstone needs. And emotional support from the forums, of course, as well, too. <laughs> I think that's about it, right? Emotional support. That's, that's right. right. That's what internet forums are for, right? Indeed. Yeah. Indeed. Yeah. All, right. all right, so uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see, see you next week. time.